Let's go to Dean from Dallas, Texas. Dean, welcome to the program. What's on your mind today? Hey, David, can you hear me? I can. Uh, I was wondering, are you familiar with South Korean politics at all? Only in passing. So South Korea has kind of had a historical problem with their presidents. They've sent uh, Lee Myung Bak for embezzlement and bribery. He's gone to jail for a long time. Park Geun Hye is a female president. She's been to jail for abuse of power, bribery, coercion, leaking government secrets. Even the the former president Moon, he's under investigation. He he could go to jail. My question is to um, why a democratic country like South Korea has no issues prosecuting and jailing former presidents and politicians politicians, but the U.S. can't. Do you think culture and tradition trump law? I do, I do. And you know, if you go to my birth country of Argentina, you'll see there is also a long tradition of uh, corruption and arguable criminality from presidents and leaders. And uh, the the last one, the previous one, seems almost always to be under investigation. And the the dynamics within countries, uh, I think sometimes maybe the right term is that there are these. Uh, over time, implicitly, it's not like people sit down and say, here we jail former leaders. And then in another country, people sit down and say, here we do not jail former leaders. I believe that it's small decisions over time that are a combination of how the judicial sy- system and court system, the judiciary is set up, how judges are chosen. Uh, cultural attitudes towards misdeeds by elected officials. All these little things together lead to some countries where it's completely typical that uh, you you jail former leaders and others where you don't. It, it also exists in the U.S. at the state by state level. I mean, look at New Jersey's history of prosecuting former governors, which I mean, you could say, well, they've had a lot of more criminality among former Jersey governors compared to another state. But th- there also seems to be something there about expectation. So I think it's all of these things. Uh, OK, so you think like the fear of public retribution or violence impacts our justice system? That I don't know specifically. It's it's possible. That's possible. But we, we'd really have to ask more to understand people's attitudes. But I think there is a cultural component and there's also a sort of cumulative component over time related to expectations. OK, well, thanks for uh, taking my call. All right. Dean from Dallas, thank you very, very much for the call. If you have a friend or loved one who is passionate about the environment, here is a perfect holiday gift. Our sponsor, Established Titles, is a project that lets you ceremonially purchase as little as one square foot of dedicated land in Edelston, Scotland, so that you can call yourself a lord or a lady like the historic Scottish tradition. Some people even change their plane tickets or credit cards to include lord or lady. Your title pack comes with an official certificate. You can see exactly where your plot of land is located. It makes a perfect last minute gift. But most importantly, established titles plants one free tree for every plot of land sold. Established titles does really good work all over the world with reforestation organizations like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. So you'll have a great laugh whether you're Scottish or not. I'm not. But you're giving the gift of reforestation to fight climate change. If you use my link, you'll get 10 percent off and your plot of land will be right next to mine. You can see it on a map. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman for an extra 10% off on top of their Black Friday deal. The link is down below.